What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my lovely, lovely voice. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder, said toxic people, said toxic traits. We know everybody's not a narcissist, y'all. Today's episode is going to be about why do narcissists change jobs, careers, relationships so often? Why, why, why? First of all, y'all, if you haven't already, join the channel memberships. I respond, I try to respond to as many comments as I possibly can on my YouTube channel and everywhere else. But for channel members, there's a special symbol that goes beside your name so I can see your comments and I can sort by them and I can respond to them accordingly. I also upload like little private videos and have private chats and stuff like that for channel members as well. The link is in the description of every single video I do. Um, Anyways, y'all, back to the topic at hand. Why do narcissists change jobs and careers so much? Y'all can see I'm in my car. I'm at my son's uh, baseball practice, and there's little kids over here. See me, they're watching me record, and they're just making noise on purpose. Um, <laughs> but seriously, one reason why narcissistic people change jobs and careers so much is because we are chasing happiness. That's why you see a lot of narcissists ch- chasing happiness, chasing. Not as a, so I see ch- I say chasing happiness, but it's really not happiness we're chasing. It's contentment. It's joy that we are chasing. Narcissists including myself, I feel like joy escapes us. Joy is like this, this thing that we are chasing that we cannot, we just cannot keep a hold of because joy to me is content. Joy to me means like perpetual happiness means contentment means that I enjoy, like I'm good with where I'm at. I don't need anything else. I'm good with where I'm at currently. I don't need any kind of additional, any kind of additional things going on in my life or my situation. So that's what I feel like a lot of narcissists, you'll see them changing jobs, changing relationships, changing careers, changing hobbies and things of that nature. There doesn't have to be a person. Like I said, it can literally be a hobby. y'all. I know narcissistic people, including myself, they have they're always changing hobbies like axe throwing, uh, <laughs> partying, clubbing, um, YouTubing, doing videos, acting, modeling. You know, I mean, being a real estate agent, just anything that make anything that they feel like can fill that empty cup that's inside of us. Because I do feel like I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily call it a void. I know narcissists. A lot of people think nar- like narcissists have this void within ourselves. Like there's an empty void. There's an empty pit, a bottomless pit that you just, you know, you fail out, you fail with and things like that. But to me, it's not a bottomless pit. It's not a it's not a bottomless pit. It's a it's a you know, it's a it's it, It's a cup, but the cup has holes in the side of it. So it can only get so filled. It can only get so full. You know what I mean? Literally, the cup can only get so full over time and whatnot. So we're, we're, we will pour as much into this cup as we possibly can, but only to know that it's going to be empty once again. Like your cup as a non narcissistic person, you might be able to be content. You know, you might have happiness with your job. You might have happiness. You might just actually enjoy your job. You know what I mean? Me personally, I'm like chasing success. I'm chasing all of this stuff because I think I think it's going to give me that joy. You see a lot of narcissists, they will leave. You, you, I talk to a lot of people, y'all. Over the last few years, I've talked to thousands of people, right? Like, and I, just, you'd be surprised how many people think that because, like, how many people think that they have people that have been in just seemingly normal, happy relationships that their narcissistic partner has just up and left them overnight. Like one day I woke up and they told me they were leaving me for somebody else. And I, I thought we were so, I thought we were so happy and you might've had, you might've had that happiness, but that narcissist, the person thought that this new person or whoever it is could make them happier. They thought this new person or whoever it is, whoever they are dealing with, they thought this new person, a new job or whatever would help them be continuously happier because narcissistic people. And I'm not, y'all, again, y'all, you can't make a narcissist you, you, you know, that, that ability just escapes so many people you can't make them happy and i'm just being realistic with you you, you can only make them happy for short periods of time you it will it will run out i know people are like well, what about the new supply they seem so happy with the new supply yeah they might actually be happy in the beginning of a new relationship y'all they might be happy because they're love bombing the new person they're actually getting they're actually love bombing the new person and that love bombing feels good to the narcissist as well 
So what I love bombing a new person and chicks are being clapped left and right, left, right, front and center and things like that. They're going to have this. They're going to feel like they're happy. Like I made the right decision. But then sooner or later, you know how it goes sooner or later, it ends sooner or later. Debt runs out and a narcissistic person is right back to being unhappy again. And that's why I just tell so many people just like, you don't, you don't, you don't have to pray on the you don't have to pray on a downfall of a narcissist who changes, who's changing jobs. They had a career where they were making three hundred thousand dollars a year, and they just up and quit it to be a bartender, or they just up and quit their career. I know bartenders can make money too, y'all. I'm not, I'm not just, I'm just saying. They had, they were a, a pilot, and they quit their job to be a firefighter, or quit their job to be a police officer, or they were a firefighter and they quit their job to, you know, to work at, to work at Lowe's Home Improvement, or to work at, you know, just to do something, you know. They just started working fast food or something like that. You know, they took, they took a minimum wage job when they were were happy, when they were just seemingly happy. And this happens a lot when you're dealing with people, y'all. When you're dealing with narcissistic toxic people, they'll seemingly do it out of nowhere. Like, we are chasing that high. We get ha- like It's like a happiness high. Happiness is like a drug to narcissists, y'all. It just is. We get a hit of happiness. We get a hit of supply. We get a hit of validation. And we want more. And sooner or later, just like any kind of illicit drug or illicit substance, that supply is going to run out. It always does, y'all. It always does. When you're dealing with a narcissist, it always runs out. It might take longer to run out, but it always runs out. Some of these holes in the side of the cup are bigger than others. You see what I'm saying? And this is not me just trying to say, well, Lee, you, Lee, you're just so depressing. Like, you just hurt our feelings. Like, we, what, what more what do we have to look forward to if we can't be happy with the narcissistic person? Y'all, you can look forward to being happy with yourself. Be, narcissistic people we need something we need an external thing to for, for us to get our happiness or our or we needed something we, we get our happiness from an external environment when we all know when you should know that happiness is intrinsic happiness comes from inside of us so we have for us to be happy we have to be happy inside of us first we can't we can't look, happiness comes from the, happiness is inside out narcissistic people like myself we look at happiness as an outside in type of thing. It's inside out. We look at happiness as outside in. Like we need happiness from the, uh, our surrounding environment and whatnot. And until you, or if you're dealing with a narcissistic person, until you understand it, until you, you know, until you see that this is it right here, y'all. And I know so many people are like, well, Lee, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Blah, 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 boo, 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 beep, beep, beep. Yeah. I know I'm speaking from personal, I'm speaking from personal experience and I'm doing a lot more research too, y'all. Cause like, y'all don't know. I am writing my book right now. The Narcissist Code is coming soon. It's going to drop. I'm going to drop the Narcissist Code like it's hot on top of your, uh, on top of y'all heads. Y'all will be like, damn, Lee, you, this is, this is fire. And y'all going to get, y'all really going to get, get into the inner workings of a narcissist mind, y'all. If I keep looking to the left, I'm at my son's baseball practice. I'm just, I'm just watching him, y'all. Um, yes, it's hot in the car. Y'all see me sweating, but that's how it goes though, y'all. We're chasing happiness. We're chasing contentment inside out. We, you know, for us to be happy, we have to work on the outside. We have to work on inside out instead of outside in. Why do they change jobs, careers, relationships? Because outside in, they're searching for happiness the wrong way. They're doing it backwards, outside in instead of inside out. Because people, happy people, content people, people who are experiencing joy, don't make a lot of changes like that. You know, they're happy. If you're happy where you are, you you can add things to it, but it doesn't change your happiness quotient. It doesn't change your level of happiness or your level of joy because you changed, you know, because you know, you're happy where you are. Being happy where you are and then trying to get more is different from being unhappy, being, you know, looking for more to be happy. You know what I mean? Being happy where you are and, you know, being happy and content with where you are is completely different than being, you know, than searching for happiness somewhere else. You know what I mean? That's why I just tell people, y'all. Just like if you're dealing with narcissist type of person, they're going to switch jobs. They're going to switch. You know, sometimes they won't have a job at all. Sometimes they'll just quit and work. They'll just quit and chase a dream. And they'll. And a lot of times they'll expect you to support said dream. If you don't believe in me, I know I quit my job to be an actor, and I live in the middle of. Uh, I live in the middle of Montana with no. I have never had an acting class before, and I don't know how to get started. But this is my dream. You gotta support it. And some of y'all will absolutely support them because y'all love them, right? You love them so much. You know, then, then somehow, some way, shape, or form, you will support them for years. And then somehow, some way, shape, this is how it happens, y'all. Somehow, you will support them for years, and then they'll get on. They'll somehow find an acting agent and get land a big movie, and they guess what happens? They leave you for somebody else. And then you're like, well, well I was there for you. I thought you I thought you loved me. And I, I supported you. So, they don't care, y'all. They're looking for external happiness. And they, sometimes, they'll blame you 
for their unhappiness. One reason they change relationships is because they 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 get unhappy in the relationship, and nothing has changed. Nothing has changed in the relationship. You know, they just start to view you differently, and then they they start to blame you for their unhappiness inside of the relationship. So you have to deal with that as well, y'all. And I, I know a lot of people, and I know it's frustrating to a lot of people to hear that, but like. A narcissist changing job or ch changing jobs or professions or anything like that has very little to do with you, y'all. I promise you. You, you'll, of course, you're going to internalize it because it's your partner, it's your husband, your wife, your mama, whoever it is. You're going to internalize it because that's who you, you, know, you just, you're a human being. But try your hardest not to, y'all, because at the end of the day, this is how it's going to go sometimes. And like, it's not going to be your fault at the end of the day. They're just going to, just, they're going to seek happiness elsewhere that's just the way it goes y'all anyways y'all it is hot and sweaty as hell in this car i have to get off this i have to get off of here but like i said march 20th in orlando florida is our next in-person workshop check it out me ben taylor raw motivations and uh katherine kleiss they stand coaching are putting together a live in-person workshop the link is uh check the beacon link in my description and see well i'll see you in orlando florida may the 20th y'all like and subscribe for more mental illness is out peace